I don't know if it's just me or some of you out there feel the same, but as soon as the cold weather comes, I start craving bacon. Every single year, like clockwork. And believe it or not, this craving is stronger than my will, and every single year, I start making bacon right about this time. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the recipe that I use most often to make, to prepare a, a very special type of bacon that my grandma used to make every single year uh, in preparation for Christmas. But it can be enjoyed any time of the year as long as, uh, of course, you like bacon. <laughs> All the ingredients and the quantities are in the description of this video. And bear in mind that I'm using three kilos of pork belly, uh, so the ingredients reflect that amount. I want this video to be as practical and as to the point as possible. So let's begin. First, the pork belly. And depending on the size or shape of it, uh, when you buy it or when you harvest it, if you raise it on hogs, we want to cut it in uh, manageable sizes. And by that, I mean that we want to cut the pork belly into sizes uh, that we know we're going to use in the future in one go, either when we enjoy it as it is or when we cook with it. Next, get a large bowl or a large pot. In it, we're gonna mix the pieces of pork belly that we just cut and the seasoning. Now, don't rush this process. We want to make sure that the rub gets into every nook and cranny. By the end of this process, you shouldn't have a lot of spices left into the bowl. But if you do, don't worry, we're gonna use it either way. Once you're done, put the bacon pieces in Ziploc bags or vacuum seal them individually and store them in a cold, dark place. This is going to allow them to marinate and cure. And when we're talking about this process, think about it like this. We need two days per kilo of meat. So in my case, because I'm using a three kilo slab of pork belly, I'm going to cure them for six days. Now make sure in this time to flip the bags on the other side each day to ensure a good result. After this time has passed, take them out of the bags and wash them very well to remove all the seasoning. Then air dry them for 48 hours either by hooking them in a well ventilated cold place or by placing them on paper towels on a plate or a tray in your fridge. Either way, we want the meat to be fully dried before moving to the next step. Next we will cold smoke the meat. And personally, I love it very, very smoky. So I smoked mine in two sessions uh, and each session took three hours. Usually I use apple and cherry wood to smoke them with, but you use whatever wood is available or appropriate in the area or culture that you're part of and smoke it as much or as little as you prefer. Again, I like it very smoky and that's why I did it for so long. Try not to skip the smoking process because this is not only going to preserve the meat further but it will also give it an amazing flavor. After we're done with the smoking, we will let the meat age for one to two weeks in a cold, well ventilated place like a cellar or a fridge or in a curing box like the one I have here. If you're interested in how to build or DIY this meat box for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description uh, of where I got inspired to build it for myself. Uh, this is not an original <laughs> build or anything, it's available on the internet and I just found it to be very, very useful for any curing meat process or recipes. Regardless of how you decide to finish this amazing product, all that's left to do is to cut into it and enjoy its delicious flavor. If you followed all the steps, the bacon is safe to eat like that, cured, aged. You don't need to cook it further. But that's not to say that you cannot cook with it and add dimensions of flavors to your dishes, something uh, as simple as a, as a potato stew can benefit tremendously from adding a small piece of bacon into it. When we talk about the shelf life of this finished product, um, if we freeze it, it can last up to one year. Just bear in mind uh, freezer burn. Vacuum sealed or in a cold cellar, it can last up to six months easily, moisture being the biggest reason why it would spoil before this time frame. So keep it stored in a cold, dry place and it will keep aging into an even better product, just like wine. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, like and share it with others, and I'll see you in the next episode.